Oh, good morning, y'all. Oh. oh, man. Oh, yeah, you guys. Sun is up. Sun is shining. It's about 6.30 in the morning right now. I've been up since 4. But uh, looking at the load boards, but no brokers up at 4. So we're going to um, see if we can get a load booked way back home. Today is Friday. Um, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Definitely got to head back home just to get my other tarp because I'm not going on the road without a better tarp so we're just parked right here you guys see you can see just right off the highway some McDonald's and a Shell's gas station that's a highway right in front of us or interstate I believe or the exit enter yeah the interstate's right out there. So yeah, I'm get up, you guys. Oh man, I just been looking at the load board here and just not much so far. Not much. Yeah, not much happening. So we'll wait. All right, guys. So I got a load back well back home um it's a generator i believe yeah generator 17 feet long 8200 pounds um it's going to sioux falls south dakota so i am in um libson wisconsin right now so i'm just an hour east of la crosse wisconsin that's where i'm going to be picking it up is in la crosse wisconsin um at a united rental so I'll be picking that up and then I'm just going to shoot just straight to uh, drop it off in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Get it off and then get paid. And Sioux Falls, South Dakota is only about an hour and a half or so from Jackson, Minnesota. My, my, from my home. And so it's going to get me back home. Um, the rate on that was uh, five fifty, So about $1.80 something a mile. So, yeah, I mean, it's not much. I was looking for a load to pay better, but I figured I'd spend 150 bucks in fuel. Yeah, 150 in fuel and profit the rest. Then that way it gets me home and then I'm gonna do my reset. Get, get go back home, get an oil change truck wash I gotta get my fuel filter change as well so get that change and then be back on the road Monday so I'm gonna see if I can find anything out of out of uh, Jackson area um, on Monday Alright, at least we got we are getting out of here. Okay. Alright guys, I'm gonna do pre-trip. Go get filled up. Looks like their fuel their fuel pumps, either their fuel pumps down or their um, depth is down. Let's uh, head out. We got about 53 minutes of driving to pick up our uh, load. I'm glad we found a load out. Get back home, spend time with the family on the weekend, get back on the road, you know? Back on the road.
destination is on the right. All right, guys, all loaded, ready to head out. Let's roll out, you guys. Give me a picture of this quick. All right, let's head out. Woo. A mile, take exit 399 toward airport. All right, guys, so we got the paperwork signed ready. Now we just need to get it off. Hey, United Rental here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. All right, guys, got it unloaded. I didn't get video of it. I was helping them. So we are all done, unloaded, good to go. All right, guys, so we got that all dropped off, good to go. Now we're gonna head out and go pick up our next load. Head south that? toward East 60th Street North, then turn right onto East 60th Street North. We got about 41 minutes. Um, yeah, I had called them to let them know that I'd be there around 3.30, but I think we'll be there around 3. Should be good. Pick that up, and I still got time left. You know, once I pick that one up. Head south on North 9th Avenue toward East home. 60th Street North. And then, uh, yeah, relax, hang out with the family until tomorrow. 300 feet, turn right onto East 60th Street North. Turn right onto East 60th Street North. Continue for three miles. All right. Whew. Got that heavy load off. That thing was heavy. Yes. Why so hot? Whew. Got both of the windows down. It's a hot day. All right, I'm gonna have to uh, factor that load when I get home tonight. Beautiful day here. Midwest. Alright guys, we're gonna continue driving. My plans, I need you to understand. I think I'm following you. Continue on 273rd Street for two miles.
got it up. it all strapped down right there good to go he's got a lot of ditch witch here he must pick some up and sell them there's a bunch over there uh, let's head out like i said this one isn't going getting dropped off until tomorrow so this will get me home and then drop it off saturday all right guys so i had to turn on the air conditioning here we're gonna head out um i'm letting this get to half an hour so that way it covers my lunch break uh, that way i don't have to stop but it is hot you guys it is hot um so i'm gonna head back home um going east i've got about probably a two hour drive home but i'm gonna stop at a Worthington, Minnesota, grab some food for the family and um, be at home tonight. And then we'll drop this one off early in the morning tomorrow. So that is it, you guys. Yeah, what a long day. So, yeah, let this reset. Should reset here. It's already half hour. What's it taking long? A little bit here. Yeah, pass. There we go, we're good. All right, this guy is pretty cool. He's got his, he fixes stuff right by his house here. It's pretty neat, or right, his house is his shop. It's pretty neat what he's got going here, this operation. So you guys, um, I forgot. <laughs> I thought it was gonna take me longer to drop this one off, but it's not. When I Googled it, and when I checked the distance, I was just checking the distance from here to drop off in Claremont, Preston, uh, Preston, South Dakota, Parker, South Dakota, to Claremont, Minnesota. So it was only four hour drive to drop it off, right? And I thought when I was gonna get home, it's gonna be another, like a four hour from home, but it's not, it's only gonna be two hours. So I'm gonna leave a, I'm gonna leave around probably seven in the morning, drop it off by nine. That way it's there before noon. And then dead head back home and um, get my oil change done and truck washed, trailer washed. And what else do I need? Oh yeah, fuel filter done, change. We're on gravel road, you guys. Whoa. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be nice. Oh man, it's so cold. I need one of those shot absorbers, like you know, that's on the tail, on the gooseneck. So yeah, we're gonna head to Worthington, Minnesota right now, pick up the food, and I'm gonna stop in O'Reilly's, grab myself a fuel filter for the truck stuff and we'll get that all done and uh, fixed up you know so. good morning bud morning you come pee huh? bye bud I am in my van took the van home last night when I got home and um, yeah this is down here at the shop you guys this morning we got to drop off uh, this uh, 
uh, ditch witch. You know, we got to drive about two hours away. I'm gonna warm up my truck here. Yeah, about two hours away, drop it off. And then we'll just come home after that, you guys. So. We'll let this truck warm up a little bit. We got fuel ready. So we should be good to go there. Uh, like I said, we'll just let this warm up. All right, guys, we got our uh, inspection done, pre-trip. Now we're going to head out. Like I said, it's about two hour drive. License plates. My uh, the grade on my driveway is steep, so my trailer just scrapes right on the parking lot. Highway 71 North, Des Moines River. Yeah, we're gonna head out there. Yeah, we're company but they actually live on this property it looks like Here's alive. nice get this unloaded get back home That's unloaded. We're gonna. Yeah, that's crazy. The guy, he said he uses Jobber too. That's crazy, you guys. Okay. Alright, guys. So we got that dropped off. Very good. 